In this episode, we review the all-new carbon fiber travel tripod from KNF Concept. If you are in the market for a new set of sticks and you don't want to spend a fortune, then stick around because this little gym might just be what you're looking for. So, if you are a photographer, chances are pretty good that you are always in the market for a brand new tripod. Now, people are always asking me, what tripod should I get? And honestly, I don't have a very good answer for them because the tripods that I use in my work were discontinued years ago, which is pretty hilarious. So unless you wanna go rifling through eBay, you're probably not gonna find what I have. Fortunately, our good friends at KNF Concept were nice enough to send us over this little beauty, and we're gonna take her out for a spin. All right, I think it makes sense to start things off by talking price. At the time of this recording, this little travel tripod comes in at just under $180. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. That's $180 for both the legs and the ball head. Normally, this kind of price tag would send up a red flag. When it comes to photography, anything that is inexpensive has got to be a steaming pile of crap, right? Well, let's go find out. Naturally, the first thing we do is build the heaviest, most ridiculous rig we can think of to test the weight limits of this tripod. This is the Canon 5D SR. This old dinosaur has been with me for a lot of years. She has a full battery grip and two gigantic batteries inside. We also have the 70 to 200 f2.8 millimeter lens. This is an absolute tank. And just to top things off, I went ahead and threw my zoom recorder and audio receiver on top. This is about the heaviest configuration that I could possibly think of that I would ever put on top of a camera. So a tripod has but one job, hold your camera steady. And despite the fact that she looks pretty skinny, this little beauty actually holds this massive tank perfectly still. I've been shooting with her all day and I haven't had a single problem. So if you are using a modern mirrorless camera like the Canon R8 here, there's absolutely no way you will ever be testing the weight limits of this tripod. These new cameras are completely insignificant in size and weight compared to their grandparents, which means that you will likely never test the limits of this tripod. Let's take a minute to talk carbon fiber. 20 years ago, this magical space age material hit the photography scene like something out of a science fiction movie. Sleek, lightweight, and super strong, it quickly became the thing of tripod dreams. And in the early days, if you wanted to sport a sweet new set of carbon sticks, you could expect to take out a second mortgage on your home. Skip ahead to present day, and carbon fiber is pretty much everywhere. This means that the price of this futuristic material has come down substantially, and you no longer have to be a part of the photographic elite to obtain a sweet new pod for your gear collection. All right, when we look up close here, there are a number of things that make this a pretty standard ball head tripod. Uh, as you can see, initially, it's not a fluid head, but it does have a series of lubricants inside the base here that allow it to travel fairly smoothly. So if you absolutely have to use it kind of as a video pan in a pinch, you can definitely pull that off. The ball head is fairly standard. It has this big old flange here that you can kind of loosen up. It moves around. It's all very basic. It has a groove cut out down in the center so you can go to a vertical shot versus a horizontal shot. And the ball head does lock down nice and tight. I've tried it with some pretty heavy stuff as you've seen and it works out pretty well. Uh, ultimately, when we look at the Arca Swiss style head, there are a number of things that I like about this. Number one, a bubble level is always handy. And number two, I very much prefer a screw threaded release, just like that. And underneath you do have a nice little flange that allows you to manually screw the quick release plate into the bottom of your camera with no tools, which is pretty nice. Uh, the reason that I like a screw threaded connector is because these are just bulletproof. They've been around for a million years. If you have large gloves on your hands, you can operate pretty much all of these knobs very easily. I don't like the cam locker things or the weird kind of locking mechanism. So anytime you look for a ball head, always look for the screw thread. This is a number one ingredient right here. But as you can see, it's fairly standard for the most part. The center column kind of enables you to go up and down and Overall, upon closer inspection, I would say that the quality is actually pretty good, especially for this incredibly low price that you're getting. All 
right, blah, blah, blah. We stand around the yard talking about a tripod. Big deal. So what happens when we actually take this thing out in the wild? Well, I thought you would never ask. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the time lapse is one of the ultimate tests for a tripod. You're not just taking a single picture. We're taking anywhere from three to 500 pictures. And quite often, every last shot is a long exposure. If your tripod can consistently perform when it comes to the time lapse, then regular photographs and video should be pretty easy by comparison. Over the course of a week, I shot an entire series of time lapses with the KNF concept. And I'm happy to report that they all came out very well. Tack sharp, no movement, no vibration. This means that this little tripod gets very high marks for quality and for doing the one thing a tripod is supposed to do, which is to hold your camera perfectly still. Okay, so the center column can be removed and this allows us to reconfigure the tripod in a little bit of an unusual way. Upside down. Okay, so the upside down thing is clever, but it's also a little bit unusual. I don't think that I would ever use the camera in this configuration. I think having everything upside down, the controls, the composition would be a little bit strange for me. So if there was one thing that I could change about this entire tripod, it would be this. I think it would be really great if it shipped with a very short center column so that we could actually use the camera right side up and still get the camera very, very low to the ground for our composition. The upside down thing is cool, but you gotta be really savvy to make that work. And I honestly think I would end up screwing up shots if I try to go into that configuration. So a shorter post would be great. Otherwise, in a pinch, this definitely works. All right, so another cool feature about this little tripod is that it has a detachable leg. You can pull this guy right off, the head removes from the body and you can put the head right on top of this leg and that gives you a monopod. So if you're into sports or birds or anything that a monopod would come in handy for, you don't have to buy a separate monopod. It all comes right here. One package deal, pretty cool. All right, so the monopod configuration where you break the leg off is cool and whatnot, but honestly, this little tripod is so low profile that I don't honestly see any reason to even take the leg off at all. I mean, you just collapse the other two legs and right there is a monopod. It's so low profile, it's so lightweight that there's, there's really no reason to take this leg and unscrew it and have it separated from the rest of the tripod. If I was just walking around with this all day as my monopod, perfectly fine. All right, so if there is one piece of advice that I could give when shopping for a tripod, always make sure you get the twist lock legs. Never, ever, ever buy a tripod that has these paddles on the legs. That is the worst design flaw in the history of photography. They get caught on everything, trees, branches, cars, seat belts, that will make your life absolutely miserable. So always make sure that your tripod has twist lock legs. This is the best decision you'll ever make. You won't regret it. All right, so would I buy this tripod? I would say yes, absolutely. For the price, it actually delivers an enormous amount of quality for the money. I'm very surprised, pleasantly surprised at how good this tripod actually is. Now, I would not use this for photography because I shoot everything in panoramic, so I need a panoramic head. This is basically just a ball head. It does great for video production and it definitely excelled beautifully for everything time-lapse. So if you are like 99% of all the other photographers out there and you're just shooting single frame 35 millimeter shots or doing little snippets of video, this tripod is gonna be a really great choice. So it definitely delivers all the quality that other tripods that are two, three, even 10 times more expensive. So go ahead and get two or three of these things. Use your leftover money to travel the world and take pictures. Imagine that. And so if you are in the market for a new tripod and you wanna have money left over to pay for that new lens you've been pining over, this little piece of carbon might just be worth looking into. I had a great time using it and I have no doubt that we will be going on many more photography adventures together in the future. The idea of having a dedicated time-lapse tripod is actually pretty cool. And I, for one, can't wait to see what else we can create. All right, friends, as always, thank you so much for joining us. I certainly hope that you found our little tour of the KNF Concept Tripod informative. If you want to pick one up, be sure to check out the link in the description below. You know you want to get one. Come on, the orange anodizing matches your new Sony camera just perfectly. All right, that's going to do it for this lesson. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of cool new stuff coming up, and I don't want you to miss out. We'll see you in the next lesson.